Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Shortly before Christmas, residents in the Wicker Riverside complex in my constituency got a knock on their door one evening, and they were told to leave their homes immediately with no indication of when they could return because of multiple building safety failings. Now, I'm grateful for the quick response I got from the Building Safety Minister, Lord Greenhalgh, and his help in getting residents back before Christmas. But their problems remain, uh, and for many other buildings across Sheffield. ACM and other unsafe cladding, compartmentalisation problems, materials used on balconies, many other issues making homes unsafe. These are problems not created by the residents, but for which they are being expected to pick up the cost. And clearly, that's the central issue that we're facing today. These are people, often at the start of their working lives, some entering retirement, who have stretched their finances to the limits to buy their home. And now they face unaffordable bills to make good the mistakes of others. Costs that will break them, and it's taking an appalling toll on their health as they face losing their homes and they face bankruptcy. Lives destroyed by the actions of others. Irresponsible developers, often who've collapsed their companies having walked away with the profits. Inadequate building inspections. These leaseholders are the victims of comprehensive regulatory failure. And that's why it's the responsibility of government to step in, to own the problem and to resolve it without any of the costs falling on leaseholders, either now or in the future, through the loan schemes that uh, we understand have been considered. In addition, the government must act, now, must act now on building insurance, both to keep down escalating costs and in the small number of cases where buildings are uninsurable to make sure that proper cover is in place. Using the full resources of the state, backed by any new laws that are needed, the government must then recover the costs from those responsible for the misery that they've inflicted on leaseholders. That, Mr Deputy Speaker, is the way to end the cladding scandal.